Hey everybody, Brad here with GeoArm Security. Today I'm going to show you how to hardwire an external siren into your Qualsys IQ wireless security system. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is power down the system, unplug the backup battery, alright, and your system uh, should be exposed to the back like this. This is what we'll be working with. Right next to the battery you'll see Buzz Plus and Buzz Minus. These are the two terminals that we'll be working with. Uh, for today, this siren actually works really well. It is the Wave 2EX, 110 milliamps, and 6 to 12 VDC. That's the maximum output that this Qualsys system can, uh, can produce. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a 22 gauge by 2 wire. Uh, I prepared them a little bit differently. Uh, one end you're going to want to expose a very small amount of copper which will be going into the back of the panel. The other end you can expose a little bit more that will be going into the wired siren. Alright and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these into their respected terminals. Minus and minus, plus and plus. Alright and you want very minimal copper exposed once you have them in there. Go ahead and screw each terminal in. not too tight. You don't want to crack the terminal or anything like that. Make sure no copper is exposed once again. You should feel the terminal and the screw grip in there. Give it a little tug. Alright, so now you have that wired into the back of the panel. You can go ahead and flip that over. Alright, now with the cable running out the back, we'll be working with the Wave 2 EX. So at the top of that, we're going to depress that open and I'm going to explain a little bit about this siren. Uh, you'll notice there's a jumper in there. Some may be asking why is there a jumper in, in a siren? Well, basically, you can pull it out. If you have this jumper all the way to the left, exposing only the right prong, that's going to be on the high output. All right, That means basically you're going to be getting 110 milliamps in a 12 volt current. Uh, if you decided to move it to the other one, you're only going to be getting 60 milliamps with 12 volt current. All right, so just to show you, do that for the low, if you uh, for the lower output. For us, we want it on the loudest so that people can be alerted. So you want to make sure the right prong is exposed. So now that I've shown you that, you're going to flip it over on its back, the mounting plate. You're going to take these, uh, take the wire. You're going to run it through the back like so. Alright, and once you have that wired through the back, uh, you will notice there's two terminals in here. You have ground on the left and you have uh, one num the number one on the right. So the red will be on the right side and the black will be on the left side. So we'll go ahead and get those into their respective terminals. Alright, once you have them in there, go ahead and Screw them down. All right, make sure that's in there snug. No coppers touching. That looks good. All right, you're going to go ahead and seal that up. All right, now the only thing left to do is to power up the panel. So you're going to want to plug in your backup battery, like so. Go ahead and turn the, or go ahead and plug the transformer back in. Now we'll wait for this alarm system to go through its booting process or rebooting process. All right, now the system has gone through its booting process. Now you'll see that the panel's lights have turned green. All right, now we're ready to test this to make sure that it's worked. So let's go ahead and arm the system. Arm away. All right, so now that we have the system completely armed, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna go ahead and tamper the device to show you that this system is very loud and that your wired external siren will work.